perfect. to push it in to mold it as you then increase more of the mold itself. That is looking beautiful. It's exactly what we want. Oh yeah. Make sure you get all the way up into the upper ear crevice. This is the best way to clean out your ear. Make sure that you've got nothing hiding. You want a full ear canal and all the crevice cleanings. And you just take a minute to massage it in there. That is looking beautiful. So then I'll take my special spreader tool and we're just gonna push in. Yep. Want to make sure that this is good and solid. It, it hardens quickly and you will be shocked by what we end up pulling out when this is fully hardened. So we want it to customize the shape of her ear and then we will use a traditional toothpick just to aerate it slightly. This helps with the hardening process. You don't wanna to go too deep because you don't wanna puncture any skin. This just allows a little bit of aeration. That's looking beautiful. gonna check here oh yeah you can see how it's already hardening just want to check and make sure yep all the way through and as soon as we pull this out you are going to be shocked by what comes out of the ear just make sure that we have no additional molding left that we want to use. You can bend the ear back just slightly. You don't want to do that too much. Make sure you're getting all into the crevices. And as much as possible, you want to keep hair out of your mold. This will allow you to get the cleanest possible pull when we actually extract the mold from the ear. Oh yeah, that's looking Beautiful, and that is hardening quite nicely. I'm gonna use my tool here. You can already feel how hard that's getting. And this is a very simple way to make sure that your ears are getting fully cleaned. Is looking really good. Now, if you take just a little spoonful of Splenda, it's important that it's Splenda. Stevia will not work for this. We add just a little bit right here on top. This is gonna help with the hardening process. And I know it seems strange, but pulling out some of the, the toxins and any dirt and debris that's inside the ear canal, using this little bit of sugar helps to aerate that out into the holes that you pressed with your everyday toothpick. Oh, this is looking so perfect. Oh yeah. we're about to remove, oh, this is, this is separating quite nicely. 
So we're about to remove it. Once we remove this, you will be shocked. You can already see, look, you can see how it's starting to, to separate and it's molding perfectly to her ear. And when we pull this out, you're going to be shocked by just how much debris and dirt you can find so deep within the ear canal. And you notice here that she has the string hanging. This is to protect. We have a little stopper in the base of her ear canal so that the, the molding will not get inside her eardrum. And that's very important. And so when I pull on the string and we remove the mold, you are going to be shocked by just how much debris and dirt and wax and gunk that sustains even after a good cleaning. So it's important that we do this every now and again. Oh yeah, that's, that's feeling nice and good. You can see how that's almost ready to lift in one singular piece here. You can just see how that's about to come off. So are we ready to, to remove it? You feel good? All yeah. right. Perfect. So we're about to remove her mold here. And what you're gonna find on the inside is so crazy. Again, this is the best way to deep clean your ears and to make sure that you're getting into every nook and cranny with this expansive material here. All right, here we go. So we're about to remove, oh yeah, that is the perfect hardness that we want, still a little bit pliable, but I'm now going to remove the mold from her ear. Here we go on the count of three. One, two, you feel good? Yeah. Okay, here we go. One, two. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh my gosh, wow. Wow. That looks amazing. Wow. What does it look like? It looks like we 